Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 7th of 2022. Well, it is titled the NGC 6914 complex. So what do we see here? Well, looking off towards the constellation of Cygnus, one of the constellations in the plane of our galaxy, we see a great deal of nebulosity, gas and dust that is scattered around our Milky Way. Now we see several different types of nebulae here, including dark dusty nebula, the dark dense areas, which are sites of star formation currently going on. Those dark areas are actually signify the presence of excess material that blocks out the light from behind it. So it's not that there's less material there, but actually more uh, material that is not giving off any light directly and therefore appears dark against the brighter background. We also see scattered all over the distinct red glow associated with hydrogen gas. This is called an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs when energetic light, generally ultraviolet light, excites a hydrogen gas and ionizes it. In other words, it strips the electrons off the hydrogen gas. And when they recombine, they give off specific wavelengths of light characteristic of hydrogen. And in the visible portion of the spectrum that we see with ordinary visible light, that is a specific red color that we see giving the red coloration here. Now the blue that we see is due to another process that is what we call a reflection nebula. So central to the image is the reflection nebula. And that is caused by hot stars and their light reflecting off of dust grains around them. Now this will appear blue because those dust grains preferentially scatter the blue light much better than the red. So the blue light gets scattered and comes from all directions as we see here scattered around these various nebulae and the red light is able to penetrate through the dust better. Now we find that when we look in dusty areas stars will appear very red and that is because in the more dust there is the more the light is being absorbed and remember the light that's being absorbed best is the blue light that's the light that is being scattered all out of the way by the dust and the only thing that penetrates directly through are the longest wavelengths so we see them here in the red and actually if we look at images in the infrared we can often see right into the dust clouds because the even longer wavelengths of infrared light can completely penetrate through the dust and allow us to look into the star forming regions within our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for July 7th of 2022. It was titled the NGC 6914 complex. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be a star trials. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.